Bum, bada bum, 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 one thing I don't like, because when I have to do auditioning or audio stuff, I have to listen to myself. And that does do a th <clears throat> It hurts. It hurts the brain. It really, truly does. Now, I need is the vibe. I hope you all want to vibe as well, because I'm going to be vibing. On a bit of a high. Been enjoying myself. <laughs> mm mm mm. Yeah. Banana na 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 na. It's a banana na na na. Oh banana na na. Do you love me? I love you, banana. Ooh, banana. Ooh, yeah. Boom, ba boom, ba boom, boom. Concrete. How you going, Aya? You vibing? I'm vibing today. <laughs> Me, who's like, oh yeah, cool, stream will be a little bit late because I'm doing an audition. Also me. Gets back around the same time that stream starts. I know. <laughs> and then by the time stream would normally start, I'm back and I'm like, okay, this won't take too long. Me spends like two hours trying to rearrange lighting so it actually picks up the green screen a lot better for the audition. Well, I haven't finished it. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, I did the first part. I've got it set up, so I'm really enjoying it. I don't know how much I can say because if I do get it, there's levels of NDA. However, I got the green screen and lighting to be a little bit better, which you can probably see, and the voice probably sounds a tiny bit better, as you can probably tell. Or not. <laughs> um, and I rearranged the camera so it's facing nicer. There's more green screen visible. Yeah, it would be. Um, it would be very good. Um, with the audition outside of NDA, what I was doing was there's a thing that you have to do in an environment that isn't indoors if you want to do it. Um, the thing is, though, um, I'm a little bit crook still, and said thing would be a little difficult to do with good quality and everything. So what I decided to do is I'd use the green screen emulate me doing the same thing um which funnily enough they also want to see more comedic slapstick side to it so i'm like okay that actually kind of works because it's like it's like you're you're doing said thing pretending you're there um which then took up a lot of okay how am i going to record it so i've got like the thing screen recording plus the um, overlay with the chroma filter now that the the chroma key now that I've got a green screen over it so it looks like I'm oh, oh, like effectively just me on top of the image this left wall here I couldn't really get out so I extended the area uh, and so this part of the wall is outside the image area and so once I go to upload it um, my next step after doing uh, effectively there's two more steps my next step um, would be to finish the main recording the script part um, and then the second part would be looking at those videos and cropping them so that this wall is cropped. Well, it's effectively me over the top of an image. It just took a lot of... The, the reason it took so long was I had to rearrange the lighting until the green screen was as much of... Effectively, I just had to make my lighting better. I've got studio lighting, but placing it's a bit weird when, when you've got a green screen, that is, in a small room. 
because normally three point lighting is face, side, and back. But backlighting is a bit difficult when you've got a whole fucking green screen that could cover up that backlighting. So it's a lot of moving that around so that effectively, if you don't understand how green screens work, it's choosing a color it can see and removing that. Green screens, I like that because that color is very easy to isolate because it's less common compared to a lot of other colors. It's very fluorescent. And so that's why you can technically do any colored screen, but a green screen is the most efficient. Um, but the issue with that is if you've got really good lighting, say from my side, but the backlighting's not coming up properly, it'll have this area here be too bright and that area be, be shadowed. And so because of that, what then happens is um, effectively, if you try and select a color, it's more, it's too, uh, it's, the shading is too broad. And so it'll then have little bits, a bit like how you can see how in this post area here, because these bits that it's flashing over are green. Uh, it's that sort of concept throughout that whole thing. So I had to try and move the lighting and do everything. So the screen is as much as one color as I can get. It's definitely nowhere near perfect. For some reason, the recording software does it a lot less. It uh, does it worse than OBS. Um, but the issue is, it's like, I can't do that same recording with OBS. Because it's start recording, but I can't... I don't, I, I don't know it well enough to use it as a uh, recording software, rather than something like Bandicam. Um, but effectively, I got that. It's not 100%, but who cares? I'm too lazy. They don't really care too much about that. Um, but the thing is, so effectively, it's a lot of setting that up, trial and error. And then I got up to the part of, okay, look through the scripts, look through what I have to do first. It's generally the introduction, anecdote, script. Um, and they want two takes. Uh, so I've done the intro and anecdote, not edited it, not cropped it. And then I'll need to do the actual script. Once I've got those, I will, because I have to do two takes, one's more improv, one's straight on. Um, once I've done those, which I'll do a bit later, effectively when Liz is available, because one part involves throwing something at me. And so obviously Liz will enjoy that, but she's busy. <laughs> um, and so what will happen is I'll stream for a bit. Once this is available, I'll BRB. Um, and then what'll happen is I'll do that filming bit. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so what'll happen is, and also I'm like, awake. Oh, do you know why? Past two meds. Um, past two meds. Brain. Past two days. Um, I was, because I've been sick for the past week or so, I forgot to get my ADHD meds. So I was a bit, uh, and also crook. This morning I got my ADHD meds and I had a coffee. Yeah, and I've also enjoyed being able to do an audition. So lighting's better. The I finally separated and made the mic in a better spot. So the mic's a better spot, and the camera's a better spot. It's, it's a little bit better. I still want a better camera, though. That's why I'm talking like a fucking... Because <laughs> caffeine. Um, I'm actually awake for once, which is rare. My heart is faster than my thoughts. If you know what I mean. No, I'm just stupid faster. Um, but yeah, so that's fun. Uh, once I get that recorded, then I'll go back to streaming. Once streaming's dead, effectively, then I'll crop them and send them up. Oh, hey, Googly again. I'm glad you're doing well, man. Uh, so yeah, so I don't know how much you were listening, Googly, but yeah, good to have you back. You're a champion. Um, but yeah, no, it's one of those things where I will be yeah, able finish it off once this is available, then I'll actually finish doing the editing and submitting it after stream. Then hopefully if I get it, that's good. Obviously the agent will take 15%, one five, because my voice started. I know I'm sick, but that was very quick for my voice to die. What in the fuck? Hello, I'm now an old man. What the fuck, man? <coughs> Harry Potter! Miserable today with the Goblin of Fire! La 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 la! And my voice is sort of back. 
temporarily. Uh, but yes, that was a hint of two. I'm very sick. Uh, um, but no, no. But yes, so. Uh, my break will be whenever Liz is available. I know you're sick. We're sick as fuck. Yeah. Um, but yeah, effectively, it'll be break when Liz is available, film that, come back. And I'll just, because I started later, I'll probably end later too. No. <laughs> your mouse broke, Googly. Sorry to hear that, man. Was it like an expensive mouse or just your average sort of like Microsoft mouse? Also, my right monitor is flashing a little bit. So to me, I know it's an old monitor, but to me, that means one of the power boards is probably a little bit fucky. I'll be back. You can probably still hear me, but no one near as well. No one near as well. Yeah, no one near as well. You can still hear me well. That's okay. The way you just went down. Oh. Me, normally straight. Me, when I see Tom Holland or Jason Momoa. <laughs> yeah, I'm a clipper. Um, but yes, googly also. I'm on coffee. Good luck. Uh, <laughs> but yes, uh, just an office mouse. Okay, that's good. Um, uh, but sorry to hear that, man. Um, if I finally, if this acting job comes through, and I have spare money, I'll buy your mouse. <laughs> if I happen to get it and succeed with it, remind me, and I'll get your mouse. Now I need to check to see the plugging of this motherfucker. Yeah. Don't you dare die on me, motherfucker. Okay, and that just made it worse. I need a new monitor. Bet, well, that's making it worse, Liam. How does plugging in a cord more make it worse? This motherfucker. I know it's an old shitty monitor, but that, that's a new level of shite. That's absolutely fucking bollocks, isn't it? Great. I know, because I bought me fucking lights trying to fix things, eh? Absolutely not what I'm looking for. You sit right there, Mr. Light. Mr. Fucking Bright. Ah, oh, my fucking titties. Uh, sorry. The way the auto brightness and correct correction works for the green screen is based on where I am as well. Because there's some, like, adjustments. But what that means, kids, is if I go near the light that's for my face, which is right here, y'all get... The screen looks like it's burning. See, look. Because the green screen's like, I don't know what's happening. Ah! Oh! <laughs> my fucking titties. My absolute breasts, mate. Um, but yes. Hello. My mic is in a better position now. You can hear me, and probably still shitty quality because my internet's really bad at the moment, like really bad. But that's okay. I don't, and I don't have money to fix it, so why would I worry? Um, but yes, aside from my right monitor fucking up. You too. Hello, love you both. I'm glad you're here. Oh, the internet for me is okay, but then recently, these past three days, it's been bad. Like, for me, good slash decent. I know. Badunk. Oh, it's all... I, I'm so bad at stage left, stage right. Like, really bad. So even though I know that me pointing here is technically where I should be pointing, I look at my monitor, I'm like, it's to the left, obviously. Duh. It's, it's stage left, Liam. Um, but yeah, so normal Aussie internet shit. As Googly would know. Um, even in New Zealand, internet's better. <laughs> Troll. Hold on. La 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 la. I guess. Um, but my normal internet when it's good is 2020. <laughs> 2020. Um, no, 20 up, 20 down. Yeah, 20 up, 20 down. Friggin' up, 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 up. 
then yesterday, past two days, it was like anywhere, it was like 15 to 8. And then yesterday night, it was like 10 to 3. And I think stream started getting a little bit wiggly. Not too sure. Um, however, right now, I'm going to do a straight, I'm going to do an internet test because it's going to be bad because this is going to be editing. I'm on here and it's just, Ooh. I'm glad you like the vibes. Coffee is good for me, except for when it isn't, which is all the time. But I'm glad you're loving the vibes. I like the vibes too. I like feeling happy. Do you know why? That's serotonin. It's a rare feeling. <laughs> But I think the mixture of having an audition and having my meds and having coffee definitely helps. Well, ADHD people are addicted to caffeine because their body doesn't produce happy chemicals properly or the reward center chemicals. And that's why they don't like, that's why simple tasks are super difficult. Yeah. And so, but it also makes me go. So if I'm not careful, panic attacks. Yeah. I'll be extra happy to avoid that. Internet speed test activating. While I'm streaming, it's going to be bad. But everyone make your predictions. Remember, good is 20. 2020. Bleh. Bad is around 3. The internet seems to be okay, uh, okay at the moment. So have a guess. Let's see out of you two, because there's only two watching, who gets it right. Or at least closest. Put in your votes now, children. The Irish in me can't stop and not resist. I can't resist it. That haters. Arya, Googly, submit your things right now. I need it. I need your results. What do you think it is? 20 in deal. Tw uh, what? Not potato. That's not a fucking number. Bing, bing. Up, bing, bing, down. Potato for president. Sure, that's fine. I like potato for president. There's nothing wrong with that. You know what I do like? You're answering the fucking question. Seven up, twelve down. Decent. Reference for some re- oh, uh, Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's that's pretty decent of a guess. Aria, what's your guess? I'm not saying you're right or wrong, and I'm not saying how close you are. But it's a decent guess. Aria! Give me your response, nerd. It's a fucking question, eh? Also, you know what I really don't like about better TV channel remotes? Is for some reason some people can't see them, and I don't understand why. Turn up, 12 down. Like, I will just want people to see the emotes that I make. They're shit, but I still want people to see them. Like, I put some effort into them. Like, a good hour and a half to two hours. You know? Yeah, I think I've only done, only made three emotes on this. Yeah. No, I've made four. Where the fuck's the carrot? There it is. Okay, so, it's actually really good when I went to test it. I don't know why. It's 20.6 down, 14.1 up. That's pretty good. The upload's pretty bad right now. But aside from that, pretty good. Um, I don't care about all that. Don't care about what the best green chroma key is anymore. Don't care. ThaiLanguage.com. Yeah, I don't care right now. I'm not learning Thai. Exactly. Like I don't understand that. Uh, maybe Google. I know your tech. What? Well, your you're a good old tech big brain. If you know why it does that, yeah. But uh, for me, or anyone who has better TV. As an extension installed, it works. But I don't know... Exactly, it's pain. Pain indeed. But I don't know how to get the channel... The, effectively, the channel emotes to show properly. Because they work showing for anyone with the better TV extension. And that's the way that I put them up. But other than that, it's weird. So, if you know that, that's an amazing big brain moment. And I love you. If you don't, I'll figure it out. It could be a simple thing as affiliate 
gets a bit of a better, you know, ooh, people can see it anyway. Ooh. There's like sub emits and stuff, but I don't know. Um, but yeah, nah, I'm just vibing. I'm living off the high. The serotonin high. Hello. It's me. I need to figure out how to do music on stream in a healthy, safe way. Because if I can, then I can finally put music on stream, which is a yay. That's smoking good, isn't it? Uh, but how'd your day go, Googly? Because I know for you it's like fucking a different temperature. Oh yeah, cool, yeah. Oh, thanks, man. I appreciate it. No stress, though, but I appreciate it. Um, but yeah, Googly. Um, what time zone were you in again, Googly? So I can add it to my phone, because I've got all the time zones on my phone, so I can check it out. Cupcake! Oh. Oh. Aria. Thank you, MST. Um, Aria. If you're able to. Um, wait. MST. What is that in GMT? That's like GMT something or other. Um, that's like GMT... I don't know, some. But yeah, Aria, if you can be in charge of clips, I'd appreciate that. Do some clips. But if you don't want to clip, don't clip. I don't know. If I'm actually funny, clip it. Because I'm bad at that. Yay. Hopefully if I actually get partner and affiliate then i can be like cool i'll pay this person to do that one person clip and do tiktok do look after my channel i'll pay them but yeah thanks ara you're a champion i don't have the money to properly do anything so i can just give my appreciation because i love you both i don't have anything else yet yeah except for the mouse and the stuff the temperature was okay okay yeah that's okay, I guess, yeah. It's a shame your mouse broke, though. Really sorry to hear that, man. Um, hope that sort of is an easy fix. Um, or at least a cheap fix. My, oh, for, for a few years now, my mice, my mouse, my mice, my mouse has been semi-broken, but it's good enough to me to keep using it because I love the mouse. Very good mouse, but the scroll wheel's broken. Um, and so technically, maybe if I get someone in, they can fix it, but I'm like, I'll change it or get it fixed when I desperately need it. But it's an amazing Corsair mouse. I've had it for years. Fucking beautiful. Corsair, sponsor me, please. I love your shit. But the scroll wheel, like I, the scroll click works, but the scroll wheel does not. Nah. Oh, yes. Oh, Aria, if I make a TikTok, do that. And then if somehow the TikTok... Starts earning stuff. You can make them. You can use keep the money off the TikTok. Oh, cool. Yeah. Well, one thing that I want to work on is making sure uploading the vods actually works. Um. Yeah, you guys. If you want to be, you can both be. Actually, hold on. Let me go to Twitch. Twitch dot com. Not dot com. Dot tv. Twitch dot ttv. Titty 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 booby. Um, let me go to my thing, which is the creator dashboard. If you want to, if you want to make the account, feel free. Otherwise I can. But let me just, hold on, hold on. I want to go to, is it community? Probably. Roles manager. Yes. I mean, if you want to be. At the moment, just no, <laughs> no pressure. Just do what you would enjoy. If you don't want to do it or don't enjoy it, then don't. If I manage to get to a point where I'm somehow making money enough to pay people, then yeah. Yeah, I'm almost, I'm almost at 50. The thing that I'm struggling with at the moment is I've got a lot of people from a lot of different time zones that come in. Which means that the three viewer average is very difficult to reach. Because even if I get lots of different, like at least 12 unique viewers in a stream, they split up throughout the entire duration of an eight-hour stream. And so I... Still haven't gotten the three viewer thing. <laughs> Hold on. Um, where is it? I would say that would be.
Uh, also, Googly, if you put another message in chat, have a look at something for me. Please. Thank you. Oh, uh, yeah, sure. No, that makes sense. Because I know, Aria, you live in TikTok anyway. Uh, <laughs> there you go. See, so you're mod now, Googly. You're around enough. I trust you. You're a champion. Breaking the jaw, jaw breaking. Oh, um, but let me. Where is it? Where is it? It would be. There we go. Aria, upload file as the profile picture. Oh, awesome, man. But also, just know it's a small enough stream that moderating is really. It's like only if you're around and feel like it. It's not like a pressure to do something by a certain time. I'm not like a. Yeah, I've actually got a thousand people viewing, so mods actually need to do something, and then I pay them. I'm not in that position. So it's really just a, I appreciate you and I trust you. Do what you want. <laughs> just like any of this. Because, um, no, you're both, you're both absolute chads. Oh, love you both. Uh, now, for the profile picture. Oh, yeah. Aria and Googly, just for your thoughts. For the profile picture for the TikTok, should I have it as either one of my art things? Myself? Or just something else random. Because I got a bunch of shit. An absolute bunch of shit. I have so much shit just there, and you know what I mean. But yeah, no, also, what do you think? What do you think? Um, but yeah, also, what I do need to do is absolutely fucking living up here, yeah, mate. Oh, yeah. But no, it's good. Um, also, hello, person who's stalking. I love you too, but I hope you will. Um, but yeah, one thing I was talking about earlier was that... Mm, yeah, well, I was thinking that potentially, because I want to start an Instagram for it too, because I'll put the art up on the Instagram, I'm thinking. Um, that would be more likely the profile picture for the Instagram. I don't know, still figuring that out. Because it would be for stream clips, people are less likely to have clips of me when I'm doing my art. It's more likely if I'm being dumb, which is 90% of the time, or when I'm playing a game. Because um, it seems to be like 90%, like it's like, at this point it seems to be like 65% art, 30% games, and 5% me just rambling off my fucking face. Um, but yeah, so I think, um, what was I doing? I don't remember. Do 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 I'm very bad at self-promotion. <laughs> also, this light is a little bit weak for me, Lighten. Let me just maybe do that. That might be a bit better. Monsieur Light. Light me up. Don't burn anything, please. Yeah. Um, only if you want to, Aria. I can do these things. I am an adult. It's just a matter of me going... And fucking, there's just so much to do that I'm just like, when do I do it? And can I be bothered? Sorry, I'm burning you. I'm burning everyone. I'm sorry. Oh, oh that works. Good enough. <laughs> oh, awesome. Um, I mean, sure. I mean, if you're both around, just hop on the, we can hop on the Discord and ramble. Um, but otherwise, let me have a, I forgot what I was doing. That's the thing with coffee. It makes me faster, but think worse. Uh, yeah, I'm good. I'm just, I, I feel bad. I'm just like, you guys are helping me with stuff, and it's really kind of you. But I'm like, ah! Um, link, let me have a geese. So, link tree. Why not just have a normal tree? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> let's see. Let's have a look at the link tree. When you got yourself a link tree, claim your link tree. Claim, sign up for free. <gasps> 
Thank you, my own googly. I know you are. That's why, Aria, if you start streaming, I can actually support your streams like I want to support googly's. Just start streaming. Uh, create an account for free. I guess. <laughs> Potentially, bruh. Phone. Ding dong, ding dong, ding dong, ding Mm -hmm. Alright. Password. Shh, I'm not telling anyone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Ari, if you're around to chat, all three I'm happy to all three chat, but I'm also happy to just ramble. That's what it sort of is. I'm just rambling at the moment. <laughs> uh, password. I'll make one up and then put it somewhere. Cause otherwise I'll forget it. Ooh, ooh, I'll forget it. Let's see, is that a good enough password? Probably. Awesome. That's done. By creating an account, you suck off every person. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just finish your essay. Yeah, easy. Just finish your essay and then we can we can vibe. I don't mind, but yeah. Tell us your name. <laughs> Uh, actual fucking account name. Uh, creative and entertainment. Select one category. Eat my fart. Pick your entertainment category. Uh, actor. Ne next. Continuing. I want free, thank you. Free has unlimited links. Collect payments. Zero percent transaction. Oh, sure, get free. Uh, continue to my link tree. <laughs> but yeah, what are you two up to at the moment? And Aria, how is your uh, essay going? <laughs> is it the same essay from before or a different one? Uh, add a new link. I like that. What should I make? Okay, link one, link two, link three, link four, ch ch link five. Let's see. Um, uh, acting uh, agent, and then what's another one? Discord. Acting agent Discord. Um. Uh, Instagram, Twitter, Instagram, Twitter, add a new link. Oh yeah, nah, Valorant's sort of one of those things where it's like, yeah, you gotta, you gotta have a mouse to make that even thinkable. Let's see, hey, my acting agent, my Discord, my Instagram, my Twitter. Um, self, um, ad, self advert site, add a new link. So I got Discord, Instagram, Twitter, acting agent, self advert. What else is needed for links? I mean, technically, I've already got my donate link in the donate, but I can just say, I'll put the donate one there anyway. Donate link. Oh, yeah, awesome. Um, I'll be there in a, in a, in a jiffy. Um, let me just have a thinky. Donate, self-advert, Twitter. So what are these things? Facebook? No one cares about Facebook. Oh, TikTok. That's what I was thinking of. Um... Tick tock. Easy. Appearance. Wow. 
I'll add the actual links to the link things eventually. Eventually, darlings. Upload your own image. Damn fucking straight, I will. It's the only real thing to do. Only real thing to do, yeah. Only real thing to do. Oh, that's so cute. I love it. Yes. That's the picture for my link tree. Good. Profile title, bio. Easy. I'll join in a bit, man. I appreciate it. Um, all right, let me know when you join and then I'll, and then I'll fling in. Um, I'm just in a ramble moment in a second. Bio for my link tree. Bam. But I'm gonna be looking. Okay. Alright, cool. So, would you be looking in the stream? Easy. Um, uh, actor advice. Um, uh, I. There we go. Oh, bio. Perfect. Minty. Speedrun essay. Papa. Hacking. Moments. I know how it all goes. Um, themes. Create my own. Wow. Wow. Oh, it's pro to create your own theme. How about no? Eat my farts. Gradient. Duh. Uh, gradient. Duh. Color. The only true color. Pink. Ooh, or teal. Oh, it's such a difficult choice. Oh, colors. I love colors. Oh, fucking hell. Colors are good. They make me happy. Colors are good. Yes, indeed. Do, 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 do. The colors are good. Not good enough for me. Uh, buttons. What do you mean? Buttons. Fill. Outline. Round. Round outlines. Yes. Shadow. Hard shadow. Uh, I don't want a soft shadow. No. Oh, button color. Ooh, opposite to green is like. Yeah, let's do that. Button color. Opposite to green on the color wheel. Color real time. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Beep, 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 beep. Orange. Orange is the opposite to teal. That makes sense. That's why it works so well together. Because color theory. Wow, wow, wow. Button font color. The button's gonna be that. Let's just make the button font color like, I don't know. Let's make it like almost black, but like purple black, because you don't want an actually black color. Because that's not good. That ain't working. Shadow color, same again. Who cares? Classic. E.B. Garamond. <gasps> Garamond, my favorite. Damn, Garamond daddy. Uh, good enough. No, 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 no. Appearance settings. <laughs> Too many requests. Too many requests. How about you request don't? Got them. Hold on, that better remember what I did. If that's forgotten all the stuff I did. Too many requests. Too many requests. How about you request these nuts? Got them. Um, 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 um. Oh, it looks like it. Too many requests. Fine. Link tree. Log in, you fucker. 
Two. Why is it is link link tree? What do you mean too many requests? Link tree too many requests. What does that mean? Too many in the given amount of time. Fight my fart. Why is there a line? Oh, that's because that's the recording line for later. Oh, articles. All right. Uh, Thai dictionary is amazing, but I don't need that right now. Link tree. Da da da. Log in. Too many requests. Whatever. I'll finish the link tree later, I guess. Link tree. I verified it. Ooh. Ooh. Cracking me back. Mm. Very much. Click, click. Alright. At the very least, that's sort of there. Someone tried to sign up for an Instagram account with me, me, me. Where, 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 where was that? Oh, yeah, I tried to sign up for one ages ago. I'm pretty sure I've got it sort of set up. Uh, and then I had an issue. I may as well continue doing that. Uh, do, 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 do. Control C. Instagram. Because why not? Do, 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 do. And I will join Discord because I don't want Googly to be sad and lonely. Because they're a legend. Hold on. Ding dong. Uh, and I'll move to... Hello, Googly. Let me just... Boop. And, and, boop. There you go, Googly. Hello, hello. Also, now you're in the streaming chat. I hope you will. Let me try and speed run using my brain. It's very difficult. But, I hope you will. Um, what does that sound going to do with that? Ooh. Hello, hello. Hello. Howdy, howdy. Let's see. So, what have you been up to? Just vibing at the moment? Pretty much. Oh, yeah. That's the main thing. Gotta love just chilling and vibing. Um, yeah. I also got to work a little bit on a hero that I'm drawing on my phone for a different streamer. Oh, yeah. He's really cool. I kind of wanted to make him a. Uh, I kind of wanted to make him a hero because he deals with a lot. Mm. That's cool. And like the first stream that I went into of his, he got like attacked by a lot of people. Oh. Yeah. That's sad. Is it sort of just like attacked because they didn't like? That he was doing that, or because I guess a lot of people can be toxic in different ways, but true. Yeah. Um, this person is trans. Oh, and so, so this, they yeah. were attacked. Like people kept spamming out that kind of thing. It was mean. Yeah, sorry to hear that. Eh. I'm making him a hero to to allow them to feel better about it, and like it yeah. won't help a ton, but at least it'll help a little bit for like the moment, you know. Yeah, no, that's good. Anything that can help them, because I really don't understand why people hate people that just want to be themselves and are happy with themselves. It's like, it's it always seems to come from a place of, like, I don't know, it seems to be, like, pent-up hate or maliciousness, or they're just, like, because they can't feel happy, or I don't know. It's, it's weird, the psychology yeah. behind it. But I also don't want to hate other people, either. It's just, like... I just want to, I just want people to be able to love themselves and be happy, but it's a lot easier said than done, I think. That's a fair point. <laughs> I did have like a just stratting stream that was about an hour earlier. Oh yeah, how'd that go? And it was, and I just kind of zoomed in on my PNG tuber since I'm a faceless yeah. creator. 
So I just kind of zoomed in on my PNG tuber and I was like, <laughs> all right, let's talk. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. That's cool. Yeah, yeah, I like that. And then one of my friends asked how the PNG tuber worked and how I set it up. And so I explained it on stream. And so now people are very, are way less confused. Mm, yeah, that makes sense. It's one of those things where it takes a second for people to uh, get a grasp on how yeah. that works. Because there's like a lot of, I guess it's sort of both new and not new territory. Because there's always been for a while people who are faceless creators. But I guess then, because when VTubing, I think was it Kisuna Eye or whatever it was, that sort of made that start to become a thing. And then there was like more people that did, oh, okay. Rigging's very expensive, so we'll go that middle ground of PNG YouTubers, and now it seems to be a, a really fascinating gradient. Yeah. Which is really cool. But... I just, just like it because it expresses art, which I'm very into. Yeah. And that kind of gives a piece about my character. And it also says that I'm a faithless creator, which, like, people love certain faithless creators. Like, yeah. A lot of people love Dream, uh, Corp uh i could name a ton but yeah like then it just gets to png tubers and everyone starts hating for some for some reason i think i don't know it's it's weird i guess from just like my perspective on it because i haven't seen too much of the, the the community of like it it's more i i can't say i've got a really in-depth perspective on it but it seems to be this thing of this weird there was already that slight weird hate but behind obviously people that like the anime and stuff like that for a while but that now that's become more mainstream it's less hated but there's also a lot of people who then hide behind say on like facebook or something hide behind profile pictures to say stuff and people like eh, eh, kind of cringe or yeah. bad and stuff and so it sort of gives a bad rep and then it sort of it seems to be with png youtubers in particular it seems like a hard, uh, to, I guess it seems like people don't realize how expensive VTubing is. Um, and so they probably expect, oh, this person's not really putting in much effort into their model or anything like that. And then they sort of just like, they sort of put on that extra like anime profile picture, cringy sort of hate on yeah. some for no reason. So it seems to be a weird line of people hate them until they're popular. Uh, it's almost it's almost like shows in a sense where people will hate it either because it's popular or they'll hate it until it's popular. Um, it's a difficult line to ride. Like I wanted to do VTubing, but then I just saw how expensive it was. And I'm just like, it's an interesting, difficult thing to sort of start up when I didn't have the finances to back it up straight away. I'm not against VTubing eventually, um, but it's one of those things where it'll be a bit like, I guess Sea Dog VA sort of thing where he's got like that he added or Sid Snap where or Lee and Lie where they didn't start with VTubing but they added just they just had a model as like another thing for fun right. and it's not their main thing. Um because uh like my favorite like I showed you at one stage like that favorite Dindy character artwork I love, it's like that would be really fun to do as a PNG tuber or a VTuber sort of thing eventually. That would be kind of cool because to see. Yeah, because it'd be one of those things where I'm like, if I'm streaming with like a VTuber or something, then I would use that. And then if I'm streaming with non VTubers, then I'd use mine. Like, that would be the way I would think of how to do it. Because it would just be this interesting, I don't know, it's like fits in. Because you, know, you see something like a bunch of like either Halloween or um, yeah. V Shoujo or something, and then you see like Tectonic or something with them, and it's just like, one face streamer plus a bunch of VTubers, and it's like it's great and funny, but it's also it's like so I don't know. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's and like it's, wait yeah. a second, no, yeah, supposed to go hmm. there. Yeah, and it's the same sort of feeling as like I don't know for me, it's the same sort of feeling as like I'm not I wouldn't do it for the anon anonymity as I've already done face for face sort of stuff. It's more like the same feeling as like how I like streaming, setting up my overlay. Um, which I have only set to the art stream overlay because it's like working on it. Um, right. but I like that sort of showing that process of me just doing that because it's that creative outlet for me because I like art. Um, but one thing I have always struggled with with art, and it'll be interesting to try at one stage, is my art style is very painty in the sense where I love the feeling and the layering of 
something like a watercolor oil paints and stuff but i hate the feeling of brushes and that's why i was lent towards digital art because i love the visuals of it and i love right. that you can change and diversify how it feels and any you can diversify every sort of texture brush and all that sort of stuff but still have the fine point pencil feeling because i used to do a lot of drawing hand drawing but that took it too much toll on my health anyway um but i like that feeling of a the control of a single point but i like the visual of like paint but one thing I struggle with is how I like and really enjoy seeing something like really clean sort of that anime or really clean sort of YouTuber art where it's like the Photoshop clean lines and all that sort of shit. And I'm like, I love that, but I don't know how people do it. Because no matter how hard I try, I don't get those clean lines. I don't get that. It just doesn't... I don't know. It's an art style I'd have to learn. Um, and no matter how I try, I sort of end up learn leaning towards that paint-like photorealism which is a unique style in a sense because everyone's got the clean ones. And that's why I like, for example, even if I don't have it up, if I switch to the art overlay just briefly, it won't show anything really because it's not up. But if I showed that, like that's why it's like the unfinished things, but it's like that sort of, I know it's like a 12 second delay on stream, but it's that whole different sort of visual process. And I do want to slowly do that, whether it be more, um i haven't touched that in a while <laughs> my adhd ass is right. just like yeah and then it's it's i'm i need to do it again sometime this week simply because otherwise i will lose the momentum um because for me with AD, with the adhd it's like if i stop doing something it, it it's gonna finish like i've almost never finished a piece of art i think there's any, any of the artworks even that are remotes are not finished um, it's just, I think the closest thing to a finished piece of artwork was the hedgehog that I've done in forever. Um, cause that was at least, even if it, I technically wouldn't consider it finished cause I just rushed the legs and the highlights. Um, that's was finished enough. And then something like the capybara was like a sort of finished, but not, not completely finished. Um, I get that. yeah. Whereas like, I almost have never finished a piece of art. Um, but yeah, I and, yeah. personally I have finished some, but barely any because I learned very quickly that I did not like working with paper. I had, had a um like streaming tablet that I've mentioned before. It wasn't a yeah. streaming tablet, it was like a drawing tablet, right? And yeah, I yeah, used yeah. that some, but it still didn't feel right because like I didn't know the full motions of like move your arm rather than your rather than your like elbow and stuff like that. Yeah. And I couldn't find the way that I liked until I started drawing on my phone. Yeah, yeah. I hear like there's some people just enjoy doing on their phone. And like I had a, a stylus for phone drawing and then I don't know where it is ever since I moved. So I'm just like, eh, maybe at one stage, I guess. Um, yeah. but, the Samsung yeah. notes come with them and I really wanted a Samsung mm. note. And my siblings got them, but mine I got for my. Uh, I got from my stepmother, and so <laughs> she didn't have a note at the time, and so yeah. I still have no stylus. No. Oh. But I'm eventually going to get one. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. I just have to, like, kind of fidget with it a little bit and, like, figure out mm. where are the dead zones, where is best to, like, actually focus on, and then where can I, like, for the lines with a special um part of the app that lets you do that yeah okay that makes sense yeah it's sort of a bit like how i've been slowly just resetting up for my tablet which i really love it's i'm really glad i got it years ago um but it's such a really good tablet where it's just like but it's sort of having two monitors for streaming it's one of those things where i'm like okay had to reset i haven't reset the hotkeys i've been lazy but i have reset it so it's like okay you just draw on the left monitor not on the right, so I don't be like, okay, half of the drawing tablet is not actually on the thing. It doesn't, that's not exactly what I would want. Um, so, if I, where is, I need to find the link, but it's not popping up. Uh, would that be correct or wrong? Do, 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 do. Um... I uh, recently tried editing my 
art, and I don't mean in the actual app that I used to draw it. I mean in my gallery app on okay. my Samsung Flip phone. Oh, and cool. I was like, okay, I could move, ar- I could, I could mess around with a few of these. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's one of those things and where it I takes a second to find what you like. Blue ink thing. <laughs> it changes. Yeah. And so right at that time, since I had never done this before, right? So right at that time, I had actually been drawing a hero for my uncle, oh, who cool. had done a lot for me then, and I got like four knives from him. <laughs> wow, that's cool. But, uh, yeah, he gave me some really cool ones. Since I'm a uh, knife fanatic, I really like them. Yeah, no, I, but, yeah, I really like knives as um, well. Actually, they're, they're really interesting yeah. and stuff. And so, um, he gave me those, and so he said, "I'll tell you what, you draw me a hero." With my symbol on it, because he has his own, like, superhero symbol and everything, because he's awesome. Um, but he says, all right, you you come up with a hero that mm-hmm. is a centaur, because we're both Sagittarius. Oh, cool. Uh, and yeah. so, yeah. And <laughs> he said, draw me a centaur, I'll get it tattooed. And I'm like, bet. And so I go home. Um, a couple days later, because it takes a long time to move between states, and he's in Utah, yeah. and I'm in Arizona. <laughs> oh, wow, yeah. And so, since it's very different states, I had to, I had time to draw in the car. And I drew it, but it didn't look right to be tattooed, because I always draw in color, because it feels right to me. Mm, okay. Um, because yeah. I can just adjust with the color and then do it that way. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, and so I draw it in color and I'm like, mm-hmm. he wouldn't be able to tattoo this. I've seen his tattoos. Uh, he would not be able to get this tattooed in color. Otherwise it would take way too long and he would have to do it in like multiple increments. And I didn't want to do that to my uncle. <laughs> so I was like, <laughs> let me screw around with editing it. Yeah. I find this blue ink filter that you can put on it and it perfectly yeah. Made it into a thing that he could get tattooed, and I sent him to him the day after. Still don't know awesome. if he ever got a tattoo, but still a cool experience. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Yeah, no, that's really good. I really like that. No, I'm I'm glad you were able to get those opportunities. Yeah. Okay, so that should be all right. Let's go in there. All right, I'll have that looked into in a second. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll look into more of the link. Let's try opening link tree up again. Eh, eh. Because I, it was being a bit of a pain for a second. Oh no, the voice is dying again. Not again. <laughs> Death. Oh. Um, oh, okay, there we go. It's actually opening up. That's good. So now, now it's link time. Um, if I go to me Twitch. I can put me links that I've got there onto it. Oh, that's one of my links. That's good. Uh, Twitch. Good. That is a link. Good, good. Uh, wait, that's Twitter. URL. Twitter. Good. Um, that's good. That's done. Hooray. Um, I need to go to my about page. Um, oh, Aria, are you alive? Are you there? Are you living in La Vida Loca? Temporary social link. Okay, I can change this. What was I looking for again? I forgot to say. I forgot to approve some of these, I think. While I'm waiting, I'm just like, cool. I reacted and just liked some of the um, suggestions on the suggestion box, but I forgot that I had to actually also um, approve them because I was like, oh, cool. Right. I like these. And then I came back to the suggestion box right now and I'm like, why aren't they showing? Oh, I need to approve them. Just, oh, wait. <laughs> as much as I do like them, I just didn't actually approve them. So no one will see them. So now people will see them. Hooray. Victory. Um. I need to. What was I looking for? Internet. All right, calm down a little bit. 
Well, actually, don't calm down. Speed up instead. Uh, I can't shut down that for once I later do my uh, the audition part two electric boogaloo. Uh, let's just go page up, page down, page left, and page around. Bam, bam. Edit panels. Yes, please. One thing I've found about forced dark mode, the one issue is some things just don't show up at the moment. And it's like, ah. Yeah. <laughs> but getting there. Um, What I'm looking for? I'm looking for the donation one, I think. That one I'm looking for. Oh, yes, that should be it. Uh, a. A. C. <laughs> Aircon. Um, donate link. Boom. Okay, so that's two of them. Self advert the star now. I'll find that at one stage. I don't have that up now. It's on the other browser, which will kill everything. But let's do it. Why not? Get ready for lag. Kind of close to affiliate, so that's fun. Yeah, uh, it'll be good. I'm looking forward to it. The main thing I think that the followers will be that that'll happen, and that's all right. The main thing is really the consistent three viewers. That's it. Yeah. That, that's the one thing because of all the time zones and stuff. Um. That uh that varies for my streams too. That's like yeah. the one thing that I need aside from like a few more followers. Yeah. Because um, I think the follow one isn't too hard because some people people are just fairly nice and like looking up new new uh, new streamers and follow them and it, like the followers part isn't too hard. It's just people that will uh, consistently uh, view us, which is why I wanted to have that consistent schedule, which occasionally you know, like today sort of gets bunged up a bit, but. That's right. right. I um I don't have a schedule because I can't make one with um uh, my school is starting in like a week and apparently my uh younger cousin is like trying to be constantly coming over uh like every day. Oh cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh which is fun. It's like yeah. she's awesome. But at the same <laughs> time it makes it harder for me to stream because she's a very curious child. Oh, okay, yeah. And like, she's entering a school that's like near us, and I used to go there for elementary school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and so she's entering that school, and I get to be, um, cause she liked me. We're buds, okay? We are officially yeah. buds. And that's, awesome. <laughs> that's awesome. But, yeah. <laughs> um. But that's fun. But she's coming over like every day. So I have mm. to figure out an exact time to stream. And then I'm also moving rooms, which will affect my streaming time. Oh, yeah. Miserably. Because yeah. Um, how it's set up, my brother is getting my room. And he's in college. And so yeah. he needs like a quiet room. And like all of the stuff that he needs, whatever. Um... Because he's taking college classes, which I respect. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. It's just one of those and, ones that he takes the quiet room, and so it just uh, takes yeah. a little bit to work around. <laughs> well, not just a little bit to work around. Uh, when I was <laughs> streaming in my um, old room, which is basically just curtains, yeah, yeah, we yeah. didn't want to build a wall, <laughs> like a legitimate wall, because our land we knew our landlord wouldn't accept it, because it okay. was like right next to the kitchen. <laughs> but it's like a very public room that yeah. I just kind of put curtains up and sleep in. It's, <laughs> it's not a very... <laughs> it's not a very good streaming room. Oh, and yeah. Do you have, like, heaps of spare... Like, do you have, I like, a spare like, mattress or anything that you can sort of, like, bump up somewhere? No, I don't have a mattress. Like, one time I've tried to put blankets up there. To, like, yeah. try to stop the points where you can, like, easily see through noise, can mm. get by it. That didn't work at all. Yeah. Because I have, like, ten blankets that I tried to use, but none of them are thick enough. Mm. Is it sort of like uh, a... Do you have, is it a carpeted room, at least? Nope. Oh. It is tile, because it used to be part of the kitchen. Yeah. Um. You could get, like... Do, uh, if there's like you could get like those bathroom mat things and like just or like just find like some thick sheet or something and just sort of lay that on the floor in the area 
Um, I should try that. Yeah. Because that'll just dampen a little bit of the ground. Um, and then I guess it sort of is behind where your mic sort of is that a window, a wall? What's that sort of um, like? Behind where I will be streaming is a window door. So. Ooh. Yeah. yeah. Um, One time, okay, my dad has a garden going, so it's also hard because okay. he has to go through that back door. Okay. Is there any way you can garden. sort of, like, face your mic in a way that's, like, towards a, like, the back of the mic is to towards, like, more of a wall or a something that people won't be using, or is that a bit too, unfortunately, difficult? Um, it's a little difficult because there's two windows and then two walls. So the walls are made out of um, the stuff that I mentioned before, which is literally just, um, it's like curtains, right? Yeah. Like we we just went out and bought curtains and then just used them for the room. Because why not? Yeah. Um, and, and so we used those for the room. And now I have two windows, which I covered up one. Um, which already had blinds, and our normal one has blinds, but they're really hard to work with. Um, and so I covered that, I covered one up with, like, just stuff that belonged mm. in my room. Um, and then I was able to block out some of the noise, but not all of it. Okay, but yeah. what sucks is I'm not using, like, an actual microphone. I'm using mm. a, um, headset microphone. Oh, yeah, yeah. That does make it a bit difficult. Um, are you using, like, a Windows sort of computer? Uh, a Windows laptop, yeah. Yeah. Um, what you could do, what I found is very helpful, is it's for free. Um, I can link it. But if you get Voice Meter, um, probably Banana for you, Voice Meter Banana and Ear Trumpet, that might help you a lot, because I found that's been very helpful for me. Because... Voice meter isolates the audio, and I've seen a lot of streamers I've found out just that I know they use that. And what it does is it sort of, at least banana, depending on which one it is, depends on how many slots you have. Voice meter banana has three slots, and for there, and you can sort of isolate your, I wouldn't use equalizers on it, but you can at least isolate it so it's like, um, effectively three inputs that are like a mic, and two inputs that are coming in from your computer and then you can choose where it sound goes out to so for example for me i've got and then you can name them so for example for me my first one is my main mic my second one uh is for later when i get music working that's my browser input because i've got a virtual cable to make it think like i plugged in a browser as if it's a microphone <laughs> so it effectively thinks opera is a microphone so i can y use that as sound if i want and then my third one's my backup mic uh and then once i actually get my switch capture card working uh <laughs> then it'll, it'll i'll switch it to that as the game capture um but otherwise then the two i'm also gonna be oh, streaming yeah. on my switch once awesome. i get a capture card yeah i've, I've got a, a good one here but the issue is um i've had some slight issues with trying to set it up with most of it works, but it's this weird issue where before I start the program, uh, everything works. And then the second I run the program, the monitor where the Switch game comes up onto suddenly switches to HDMI signal loss. And I'm like, okay, this sounds like some weird software issue where it's yeah. trying to pass it over and there's something weird. So I've, I've contacted the support team and that'll be the easiest way instead of having a headache of trying to figure it out myself. Um, so once that works, that works. And that'll be amazing, because I want to stream, like, Hades and Mario Kart and stuff. Um, yeah, and then I think, so, that'll be there when it works. And then I've got my two digital sort of inputs. So one's my desktop audio, so that's for games. And my other one is, um, my comms slash disc. Uh, so the benefit of that is, with voice meter, it sets up these fake sort of inputs. Because this becomes your default. It's effectively, if you don't run it once you start this, it becomes where your sound comes. So if you don't run it, you won't hear anything because it automatically, it, it effectively becomes your sound control for your entire computer, which is good. 
Um, and I can I can show you when I'm off stream if you want, if you're interested. And so what it does is there's this bit where it's like for the digital input, there's one where it's like aux and normal, and you effectively just be like you go to your audio devices, you set your um the aux one to default uh communication and the other one to default and so it's separate because of that it separates the two and so that's why i'm able to change the discord volume for stream separately from the game volume um because even even if both of them come to my headphones they're considered different inputs and so that's why it's so important for me because for example if someone on stream thinks the game's high but discord's low Controlling Discord audio on users is tedious and it's very, it doesn't work very well. And so the benefit is I can just, I then voice meter effectively has these things. I then go into OBS ads and they just become as sort of sources you can add as, they become natural sound sources in that sense. So like my, uh, I've got game slash desktop, microphone, Discord and browser. And all four are there. And so that's why it's like right now my microphone's normal because I've got a really good mic with a good uh, gain thing. So I've got like six filters on that. And so either way, it won't go above my negative 10 decibels, which it's got a limiter on that. So that's really good. So it won't peak. But then I've got like game and desktop at like I've lowered the volume to negative six decibels as like lowered down the slider. So that's good. And then Discord negative eight decibels because Discord tends to be, it tends to peak a bit more, and naturally Discord has worse audio. Um, so I've got some filters on Discord so it might sound better via stream, but that's one of the weird things where it's like, because I'm not listening to my stream, I'm not sure how decent the filters are, but apparently like I haven't had any issues with it, and that's the main thing. The filters are really good actually. Yeah, that's good, and I'm al always happy to help show those to you if you end up uh, wanting to do those. Um, and then, so aside from voice meter, which sort of isolates those, um, there's ear trumpet, which you can just get on the windows store for free. Um, what it does is, you know how normally when you open up the volume mixer, it's just like headphones and then the individuals, um, ear trumpet yeah. sort of does volumes for each individual output. It's like, it effectively just makes it a bigger selection and the reason I did I did that was I was looking at a channel that helped me figure it out. I was able to sort of look at that, open it, and then it's like, cool. For my, it shows. I guess the best way to explain it is, you know, how you can select. Say if you've got a speaker and a headphone, you can switch between and you see them, but only one at a time, sort of thing. This sort of lays them all out for you. And then with that, you can sort of. Then I added. There's a free thing which I can find, which was the virtual cable I mentioned earlier. It effectively pretends to be a cable plugged in. The computer recognizes that and presumes you've plugged in something like a mic or a speaker or whatever. I You can then select what it pretends is connecting to it. I use Ear Trumpet to make it so that... Because Ear Trumpet isolates everything, so it shows the cable as an individual thing, so you don't have to find it. I then make the cable connect to my opera browser so that way the fourth okay. input is my browser uh the benefit of that is later once i figure out how to do music well on stream i can then just have the music play from the browser and control the volume individually or like what i could be doing right now is i can play music from my browser right now no one will hear it because on obs it's muted because the audio is isolated um so I found that very beneficial and um, just so it's like I didn't learn all these myself. Franzois Studio on YouTube is where I picked up all these amazing tips. So I want to at least credit them for being able to sort of show that. Um, that's fair. But yeah, that's been extremely helpful in getting the audio stuff set up because naturally like I'm, I can pick up stuff tech wise, but I have... Uh, oh no, Ari, I'm so sorry. Oh, I hope you feel better soon. Oh, dang. Sounds happened, like you ain't going to work. Uh, Ari has got a uh, positive for the old, the old Backstreet Boys reunion tour. Uh, 
more time. Yeah, so t uh, I've already uh, got a positive COVID, um, which is a shame. I uh, hope you. I hope it doesn't hit you too hard and you stay safe. Um, but <laughs> more time for TikTok. I already said so. Touche. Um, touche indeed. Uh, but yeah, so I'm sort of like I'm good at picking up things naturally because my dad works in IT. But aside from naturally picking up something. For me to learn, I have to have it shown to me, and I have to do it, and someone be able to show me if I'm doing it wrong. I can't just like I don't learn from text easily, and I don't learn from just like listening. And so that means like hey. I can't just be like, "Here's an audio book," and I'll be like, "I ain't learning shit." <laughs> so yeah, so something like okay, cool. Yeah, like I love knowing what I can do, and but I hate like when I don't know if there's something I don't know. You know what I mean? It's like one of those things where it's like, it could be a very simple thing that makes this so much better and clearer and understandable, but because I don't know it, I don't know how to make it better. Uh, one thing I want to learn at one stage is how to do a, a customized equalizer better. Because right. I've got like a, a template for like a 14 band equalizer set up because I want to do voice acting as sort of the main thing as well, aside from streaming. Um... And that's where mic quality becomes even more important. Um, and so I want to get that equalizer perfect, but I, I have it off at the moment because I don't know well enough what works. And so the per purpose of a customized equalizer is like, for example, the S sound that goes a really sharp, annoying S sound. You want, you find there's each of these sounds, there's like a certain Hertz range they're at. That's what the equalizer does. And you can sort of like, if you, or a master at equalizers and know how it works, you can be like, okay, I know this is a part that peaks for me, I'll lower that. But that's something that would take ages for me to learn, and I deep dive that mentally at the moment, I don't have the energy or brain space for, but I want to at one stage. Um, but yeah, I don't know, I just rambled, so sorry, <laughs> sorry for the ramble. Um, no, that's fine, I was just in a very intense game of a, uh, I was playing a Roblox game yeah. that is basically you open lucky blocks, right? And mm -hmm. then you get a random item out of here. Most likely a weapon, but you don't know. Um, there's a small <laughs> chance that it will be like a dumb weapon, like you flip over the table. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but then, you know, you'll get weapons like you can call in an airstrike in a certain area. Oh, wow. <laughs> Yeah, and then wow. there's also like a certain tier of uh what I call god weapons because they are, um, where they have like a glow to them. Some have like a dark glow. One has like a blue glow type of mm. thing. That's cool. Um, it kind of looks like a blue shadow. It, it it's a very interesting game. Probably yeah. one of my favorite on Roblox because it was one of the first I played. But that's cool. I don't okay. like the fact that they added like special new blocks, which like is cool and all, mm. but one of them is on a random timer. Oh. Right? And so every single time that someone gets it, it's in the center of the battleground. Um, and then uh, because it's in the center of the battleground, people can get it at random times, whatever. But you have to be, like, in the area, obviously, to get it. Mm. And I don't, I don't like it because it has such a random timer that it could be anywhere from a minute to an hour. Oof. Okay, yeah, that's, that's a bit too high and of a so sort of rate. you don't know yeah. where you're going. Like, when you're going to reach it. Or any of that. I've kind of gotten the hang of it because it does like this flash uh, light type thing which I think is kind of cool. Yeah. Um, but it turns like brighter every like few minutes and you can kind of get the hang of it of when it's gonna like change but you never really know. Mmm. So it's a bit hard to properly gauge and stuff. Yeah. So like yeah. I guess it's kind of random and for that fact i like it 
Okay. But I also don't like it because of how random it is. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. So it's sort of like a bit, it's a bit up and down. It's in, it's in the air sort of thing because you sort of like. Yeah. The randomness is fun, but maybe it needs a little bit more sort of restriction to how it works or something. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Well, that makes sense. Uh, yeah, I, I get that. Because I, I, that's one thing that reminds me of like with board games. Because one thing with board games is that. Um, I love board games, avid board game collector and stuff. I've got like, I've got like 30 behind the green screen. <laughs> um, and I like trying to find ones that people don't really play that often. Cause I like sort of, oh, that's why I love Kickstarters. Cause you're supporting people who are like trying to grow and sort of create their own sort of things. Um, but one thing I really don't like in games, I can understand why people like them, but for me, it's just, I really don't like games that claim to be a fully strategy-based game, but are heavily reliant on just luck. Like yeah, something same. like, for example, something like Risk and Monopoly, um, I'm not a big fan of simply because it's not, uh, there's, there is strategy, but a lot of it is heavily reliant on the, on the, the risk, on the chance that's there. Monopoly, I don't understand when people say it's a good game because it's intentionally made to be a bad game to show how, like, a, the system sort of, like, can be bad and stuff. And yeah. so it's, like, it's good at what it's trying to do, but it's a shit game, intentionally. Um, and Risk, I can see why people like, but it's sort of one of those ones where I'm, like, you could play a game that's similar with less chance involved. Like, some people counterpoint with, like, what about, like, D&D? &D? There's a lot of... It's, like, no, well, D&D &D is more about having a group-based narrative, telling a story and having that fun, creative sort of adventure together. And creating a story together and so the dice is just a way to add that semblance of uh mixture between reality and um just there is a sense of chance but it's not a determining factor on the world or game and it shouldn't be like something like um people are like oh what are nat ones nat ones don't apply to checks so something like perception you don't actually have a nat one to perception and the biggest thing the book says at the beginning for like the DMG and P PHB and stuff, Player's Handbook, Dungeon Master Guide, is these rules are a guideline. Um, and so it's sort of like that whole, you got to look into and understand that something like D&D isn't just revolved around the chance of dice. And if it is, then DM's got to try and learn to DM and not just play a board game. Uh, yeah. <laughs> to be fair. And so I can, if a game says it's completely about chance and it owns that, to, awesome. I had to prove to my friend that in all of my rule book for Marvel D&D, it says that the DM can basically do whatever the heck they want with the actual game. Like they can modify it, make it homebrew, whatever. Because my friend did didn't believe me no they were like no 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 no, this is a dice game and i was like it is dungeons and dragons yeah 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 oh like, dear. it is dungeons and dragons not dice and dragons yeah it's one of those things where it's like it's a part of the game's mechanics to indicate that it is to, to just represent things it's not a that's one of the things people can right. go into it that takes a while um is that D D can be perceived as a board game or completely just like acting. It's like it's a it's as if you've got um group storytelling um that add that uses dice and other things to just uh as mechanisms to help portray the story that they want to portray. Um Exactly. And so something like the dice are like even just the stats and the sheet is just to help keep track of some of these things that make the game more feasible as a game because there is still that level of you want to have fun and it's still a game but you still also want to find what does the group want how do you want to tell the story and grow with the story and sort of like one of those things is knowing that something like one of the rules that you can see with people when they're new to D&D is they'll just say um I get I'm gonna make this check or I'm gonna do that and it's like okay n that's fair but I know you want to do that but how about at the very least, in my style of D and D, where I like the narrative story style of it, and less the uh, mechanical side of it, it's that whole okay. As the DM, which I normally am, and I enjoy that, it's the the okay. 
Would you explain to me what you want to do and do that? If a check is going to be a part of that or be required, then I'll bring that up. Like if you're like, I just want to, I'm going to do a like perception check. It's like, no, just be like, um, I'm going to, I'm looking around at the uh, forest that we're just entering and keeping an eye out yeah, for that's how I play. The tracks or any particular thing. And then I'm like, okay, make a perception check. Um, and then base like that. And then it's like, yeah, I've got homebrew things where it's like, for me, sometimes if a roll seems like it's two things, I do a combined roll where it's like, roll for both those stat, roll for both the checks and then divide it by two. So if it's something that seems like it might be nature and arcana or something like that, or arcane sort of thing like that, then I'll be like, okay, do a nature and arcane check and then divide it by two. Um, because I like That's sort of fair. like, I like that sort of, I like combined checks or I like custom checks that you can add and all that sort of stuff. It's that you use it however you want to use it, but you also need to understand that using it is meant to be mutually understand and understood. And that's why I don't like when people go into a game that's like, okay, the DM's like, oh, this is the rule. It's like, well, at the beginning of the campaign, that's why this session zero is, and that's why you're meant to discuss as a group, okay, what do we want from the story narratively? What do we want from the story mechanically? What do we want themes? Uh, what are rule? What are things that we just don't want to be a part of it so that everyone's comfortable and everyone enjoys it? And along with that, what do we want Homebrew wise, rule wise, we want any differences. Like, for example, I like implementing into long periods of travel the, um, there's a, can't remember the exact name of the TTRPG sort of system, but um, there's a Lord of the Rings one that has a, a journey rule where it's like you assign uh, roles to certain people, um, like scout and all that sort of stuff, and then throughout that long period of time you sort of on the map for the dm it's really cool you add hex you add like hexes on it and it changes the difficulty based on things oh that's People awesome find the, you find the difficulty rating of that and then you sort of go and it's like the peril rating and stuff and then based on those checks people do some roles at the beginning i think the guide's one of the ones where they have to be aware of okay supplies and making sure the route's fine all that sort of stuff and it allows that players all get that interaction throughout that journey time um without it just feeling like a slog of we're traveling every every session to get somewhere but without it also being like is just we're just there um i think one of my biggest gripes from D is it makes sense sometimes but if you want a story what i really dislike is when someone just oh someone news joined or something we just they're just there or they just pop up I don't like that. I've always liked, like, even at one stage when I was not DMing, but I was playing a character that I enjoyed, my character had died, and the DM, well, the DM's good, and I love them and stuff like that, and one of the things was that I was fairly adamant. I'm like, hey, don't add me in until with, with my new character until it fits narratively how things are going. Let the party have time to mourn the death of that friend. Have, let things go and progress. If that means... I'm not playing for three sessions. I'm fine with that because part of the D and D experience isn't just telling your own story. Isn't just listening to the DM. It's enjoying and listening to the other stories unfold from everyone else that's playing. And a lot of people that are new to that don't realize that because they just want that hero complex. They just want to portray what is sort of what they've built. And that's fair. You got to, as a DM or as a player, you got to be like, yeah, you got to also yeah enjoy that and enjoy creating something that you express but it's a bit like in any sort of team thing let everyone else push that to the forefront and you help push everyone else to the forefront um it's that whole if you've been in the limelight of that session for a while know to back down and sort of sit back so other people can take the forefront and they can do some things uh one of my it's not a hard rule, but one of my rules I like playing with is that the do it together sort of thing where it's like, if your character wants to do something away from the party, unless there's a hundred percent, a full guaranteed reason why you do it by yourself, bring at least one person with you because that creates some cool one-to-one sort of character interactions, but also it keeps people involved. 
it's not just the you show and it's right. a thing where you want your characters to bond like for example rogues have got the bad reputation of running off and it's like okay cool it makes sense you want to do that but the first thing you do want to do is create a character that will end up trusting and joining the group don't make it an effort or a fight to make your character part of the group because people don't want to do that people want to get into this and start it and and just enjoy growing that and so yeah there's going to be trust things you're allowed to not trust someone um in the group while your group's still growing your character's allowed to be uncertain about these things but you've got to at least if the dm's throwing an opportunity for your character to grow and be a part of a group with everyone else you take that um i think one of my biggest issues i find is when someone's like it's it becomes their show and it's just like the they want to go off and do things and then they're like wondering why no one is just dealing with like coming on and dealing with them it's like no it isn't they're not following the, they're not meant to just follow you and do what you want to do it's the whole you're sort of meant to bring think people with you and you're meant to it's it's a group experience dming is not just the storyteller isn't just the dm if anything the dm isn't the storyteller um the dm exactly. creates and writes the narrative they create the plot whereas the players create the story um it's 70 percent physical work for the dm 30 percent physical work for the players 70 percent um game uh, work for the players 30 percent for the dm because whether the game works outside of the preparation and stuff it's 70 percent up to the group and how they sort of flow together and how they're willing to sort of work together um and i think that's sort of very important to that and i think that's sort of all these sort of aspects are what make D D D. it's not just a chance based dice game which i guess is where that whole tangent is like that's where a game is sort of like it's got chance but it's got reason behind the chance it's not just right. straight chance um but something like for example jackbox wheel of um whatever it is or even any sort of jeopardy or any sort of wheel thing like that it doesn't claim to be a game full strategy it's a game that relies heavily on chance and doesn't hide that and so that's why they can still be fun because you know it's just chance and you're just going to be like cool it's like it's fun it just happens um and that's why i sort of don't like monopoly and risk because it's like it's very heavily sort of oh the strategy or something there when it's like it's not but i don't know oh that's a rant from good old a board game lover, Liam. But, oh, my chest certain. Um, oh, okay. Uh, let me just. Um, I may be on the BRB uh, soon, just to see if I if I'm able to do the rest of the audition. You think I'm a bobo, and then be back. But we'll see in a in a hot second. If I am gonna do that, um, but yeah, how's your games going at the moment? I died like three times, and so I had to get my stuff back. <laughs> oh no! Because like in this game, you don't just die; you yeah. die, and all of your items are gone, everything's gone, and then you have to like start again, which is kind of the fun part. Because you get to see what other items there are. And you get to kind of play around with it a little bit. And I just found out that one of the items mm. is like this magic wand type thing that shoots purple uh, lightning at people. And if you double jump, you can fly. Oh my gosh. That's pretty cool. I do like that. Mm. Works for you too. All right, cool. So my link tree is working. Once I've got some other things set up, like the official Discord permissions finished, and once I've got like TikTok and Instagram all set up, then I'll add them to the link tree. But the link tree works now, and that's in the about thing. Um, I am going to BRB. Um, I'll leave the stream running on the BRB thing just to know people that I will be streaming back. But I will finish off doing some of my auditions, and then I'll be able to be back a bit later. And 
whoever's still around, I'm still vibing. If you're not around by the time I'm back, it's been lovely chatting, chatting with you, always Googling. I hope things go well with you, man. Otherwise, um, I will be back once the audition is 90% finished because I can chat while I finish editing bits. But the actual recording and stuff, I can't do that while I'm streaming. <laughs> but yeah. That's fair. So I will see you in a bit.